Elmer Clay TV. I'm Elisa and with Halloween coming near I thought it'd be fun to do something simple but really cute. So I made this pendant here and I made it with a mold I have from like a zillion years ago and I I didn't want to show you the mold because I don't know where you could get it. <laughs> so I think you can do just as effective and really cool stuff with these um, deco discs that we have and these are the radiation set which is really kind of the same thing so what you do is you condition your clay and today I'm using the bronze primo brand and depending on how cold or hot it is where you, where you live you may want to use something like water to um, to stop it from sticking however it's pretty warm here and I didn't even use any when I did it the last time but if you want to use a little water by all means um, use that or something like cornstarch so that your clay doesn't stick but I really di didn't have a problem with it and it's pretty warm here in northern Florida so anyways that's the gist of that so you want to just place it I think I'm actually going to use this one here let me move this out of the way I rolled a ball I conditioned it and rolled it into a ball and you can make this whatever size you want it's completely up to you if you're gonna make a pendant or something and I just start by giving it a little push onto the deco disc and you can shape it a little into, you know, a, the shape you want. If you wanted it round, you just kind of shape it a little. And then, so that both sides get detail, you can then add the deco disc on top and then push down. And when you're doing this, you're going to get impression on both sides. This has an impression on the, on the side as well. So do it until, you feel, until it feels comfortable, like it's the size you want. And that you've got it all impressed and then you just peel it back and you can see the design is there now I did it this thickness because I want to be able to add around it see these cool little cabochons I don't know I, I just love the way they look so I'm, I've been crazy using them in everything I think we have multiple sets I we have one set that has like 16 colors um, ones that are shaped so you can really do a lot with them but right now I'm just going to use these little ones and these are the the four millimeters and I have I happen to have these eyeballs I don't know where I got them but really it's just a piece of paper on a little like a glass piece and you can find them online or you can make them yourself a lot of people make them themselves so once you feel like your piece is shaped then you would just come and start adding your little oh that was upside down Leave it to the bull in the china to do that one. All right. Anyways, <laughs> you would just place them on here. Now these are hot fix. So hot fix means that in order for them to adhere, they have to be heated. And so you can't ask for better for with polymer clay. So these just really work well. And, and you just place them all the way around. And you could turn this into a bead. You can turn it into a pendant. You could do it around. A piece that you're using for home decor there's I mean there's so many opportunities that you know and ideas that you can come up with and look it's so simple and you know yet effective I mean I really love this so <laughs> I don't know you know my niece Rachel who she's my only niece and she's 20 she'll be 22 actually um, October 30th the day before Halloween and she usually is not too much into my stuff <laughs> she actually wanted that so she's gonna get that I don't know that she'll wear it but she could hang it in her car or in her house you know and do something cute with it so anyways you just continue going around until you have you know the whole piece made and if you want to use a something to hang it I just used one of those screw eyes and stuck it in there but you know that really that's all there is to it so you would continue going around. I'm not going to bore you with that right now. Oh, so I locked the rest of them. A few wasn't enough. <laughs> so then you want to colorize it in whatever way you want to colorize it. That could be you can use some paint. You can use some powder pigments. Let's go with a little bit of pigments here. Um, let me get a little. This is like a gray color. Get a little on my finger. And then you just highlight like you would. And you can do as many colors as you want. You know, whatever look you're going for. You can do both sides. And I'll finish this up so you don't have to sit here and watch me. And then I'll add a photo to polymerclaytv.com. That's where our blog is. 
If you're not familiar with, with it, that's where we, any anything we post for Polymer Clay TV or new projects, it all ends up on that blog at Polymer Clay TV. And then you want to pick a cute little eye, whichever funky eye floats your boat. How about this guy? And then you just place it in the middle and you want to glue this. And the reason why is because it doesn't have any adhesive. It's not a hot fix like these little uh, pearls are. So I would just use some weld bond clay, I mean weld bond clay, excuse me. Some weld bond, W-E-L-D-B-O-N-D -E glue. That works really good. You can use Sobo glue, which works well as well. But I, you know, it's totally up to you and what you have. And you just glue it on the back and glue it on. And then you, you once you get your screw on, on or whatever it is you want to do, then you bake it. And you just bake it at the temperature recommended on the package of clay you use. And that's really all there is to it. And you can have some really fun pieces this Halloween. So I hope you'll give it a shot and play around and, and share whatever you make in PolymerClayTribe.com, which is our Facebook group. And uh, have fun with it. And have a very, very happy Halloween if you celebrate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me.